good morning. We have some new happenings going on in this household. And so you might see a couple of new kitties in the background. We are moving forward in the process of kitty adoption. Um, we're going to welcome to our family, Slippy and Nebby, who our youngest son, Angelo, rescued from shore death. What a heart of compassion. I love it when my boys remind me of Jesus and they do it all the time. And I am watching as Donovan and Victoria's sons also remind me of Jesus so often. I love generations. I love lineage. I love blessing my sons and blessing their sons and blessing the ch their children's children. Uh, it's one of my favorite places to be, grandma. And now we are partaking once again, because we've done it multiple times before, in the adoption of a couple of kitties, um, a couple of rescues. And Angelo and his wife, Mackenzie, did such a great job just loving on them. And uh, we fostered them for a while and um, we couldn't let them go. It reminds me of Jesus and how much he loves us. We are seated with him in heavenly places. We have been adopted as children of God. Oh, what great love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called the children of God. <laughs> so, if you see any commotion, today is a very pivotal day. These little guys and girls are getting used to each other and um, there has been no fighting, but there has been a little bit of under the breath growling. Um, and so if you see two new kiddos behind me, um, at any point in time, you'll understand what in the world's going on. Um, and isn't it just like Jesus to use something as simple as rescue and kitties to remind us that um, we are his and he is ours forever. He is our forever family. He is our forever home. And he fostered us for a little while. And then he said, you know, would you like to come in? We welcome you in. And for those of us who have said yes to him, he stood at the door and knocked and, and we said yes. And he has brought us in to his family with bonds of love, with bonds of forever love that are secured by his blood. Isn't it precious? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it miraculous? You know, I was reading in Matthew this past week, and it is wild. Um, I forget sometimes how crazy the story of Jesus walking on the water is. And it's not a story, it's history. It really happened. And I have been reading the Bible in a different Bible translation this year, and words are popping out to me. Words that I used to sort of breeze over are popping out to me this year. The word that popped out to me this past week as I read Matthew chapter 14 is the word immediately. The disciples were in a boat. They were crossing the sea and Jesus came to them walking on the water, a miracle in and of itself that in his human form, God, there's one of our new adoptees, <laughs> that in his human form, God, manipulated the molecules of the water and walked right on it? Or did he manipulate the molecules of his feet? I don't know. Good question to ask him when we see him. And when this happened, he walked on the water, but the disciples were terrified. They thought he was a ghost. They cried out in fear. I mean, they must have really been wrecked. And did Jesus let them wallow in their fear? Was he like, oh, I don't even know what to do with y'all. I, I picked the 12 loserest losers, seriously. No, 
immediately. That's the word that jumped out to me. Immediately, he, he set, called out to them, it is I, do not fear. And you know, Jesus, he's God. He knows the beginning from the end. He knows all things. He knows what's going to happen. Peter. Peter's like, what? Jesus, it's you. You can do it. I can do it. I'm jumping out. And he just, you know, Peter, <laughs> he just jumps right out of the boat onto the water. And guess what? He's walking in the authority of Jesus. And he too walks on water. Go, Peter. Because I'm pretty sure I would have stayed huddled in the boat if we're being honest. And we're so rough on Peter. We're like, dude, psh, you saw the wind. You got afraid. You sunk. And so did Jesus have our human response? Dude, you saw the wind. You got afraid. You, you're sinking. Here's what we're going to do about that. Let's just let you breathe in a little bit of salt water and see how you like that. Maybe next time you'll believe. I mean, our human fathers are acting out of human response. But God does not. He is perfect love. And guess what word comes up again? And immediately. Jesus didn't let him wallow in his unbelief. Jesus didn't let him... Uh, get a good taste of what he had just failed at. No, immediately Jesus reached out his hand and saved him. Buddy, why didn't you believe? We'll get him next time. God is faithful. And Jesus showed his love and mercy and compassion by faithfully immediately reaching out his hand to save Peter. You know, he saves us because he is our savior. And then he keeps on saving us. The moment that we cry out, help, he reaches out his hand and he saves us. And I've thought in the past, what if the wind and the waves, what if I can't see his hand? What do I do? How do I grab it? No, Jesus reached out his hand and grabbed Peter's hand to save him. Immediately, immediately. He didn't wait. He didn't let him sit with his failure. Hey, you guys, this is a word for someone today. If this is resonating with you, grab this and believe. You can walk on water. And if by chance you step out of that boat and you start to sink, immediately he will grab you and pick you up. He will comfort you with his mercy and compassion, with his salvation. Do you know how I know this is a word for someone? Because this is not what I set out to talk about today at all. My plan was to talk about righteousness. <laughs> his plan was to talk about salvation. And the nature of immediately reaching out to pull us up. He is not human. His heart is not hard towards us. He is love. And in compassion and mercy and love, he reaches out to us. Remember that the miraculous God who walks on waters, who calms the sea, even the wind and waves obey him. He is intimate, personal. Jesus, who immediately reaches out his hand, takes hold of us and pulls us up to where he is. He saves us. And it's going to be a great day.